I bought an iMac for 148 bucks. Is it any good? Let's find out. All right, welcome back to the channel. So what I did this time is I went out and bought a $148 iMac, and I'm gonna go ahead and trade the specs on this. This is gonna be part one of a two series of videos. The next video is gonna be how this thing performs. So stay tuned and subscribe for that video. It's gonna show you exactly how this will perform for me. But today I'm gonna to show you what I got, first of all, for $148. So here it is right here. So let's just go ahead and, you know, I normally wouldn't buy this, but at the end of the day, I did it for the channel and also it's just fun to kind of fool around. It's as much as some, you know, AirPods or something, 148 bucks or an Apple Pencil. So you can get a whole computer, a screen, everything included for 148 bucks right now on eBay. Found a good seller, I'll explain them to you as well, so we'll get into this. So what I got actually, was I got the Apple, I got a 2013, 2013, 21.5 uh, inch iMac. I'm gonna share my screen here, and you'll see it here, uh, 147 and 60 cents. So 147, 60, actually under 148. It's got an i5 right there. It's got a 250 gigabyte SSD, and that's the key right there. Always get the SSD and uh, eight gigs of RAM. So, so what did I get? Now, again, this thing's not fully upgradable to the newest OS, but it does go to a certain OS, which is pretty good. Um, you know, I can actually upgrade this all the way up to Catalina, and it has some security updates, I think, coming, a couple more coming, but then you'll be done with those. So you gotta keep that, obviously, in the back of your mind. So I bought this from a place called iSell iMac. It's down over here, you can see it on my screen. I don't know if you can see me. I'll share my screen there. And uh, they're a great company. So this is rated as a grade C. And so if you see a grade C from this company, this is basically what you're gonna get. And I, and I bought a few from them. I actually have a 2011, which I'll show you really quickly. And I bought that a long while back and I showed people how to boot off an SSD on that. So I didn't have an SSD in that, but I was booting directly off an SSD, which made it super snappy at 2011. So here we are nine years old and I got this for 148 bucks. So take a look at it If you look at the back of this system the back of it's almost perfect uh, There's very few blemishes. So they say grade C looking at the back and the silver back here, especially in the back Perfect. So all the, all the ports work. I'll show you the ports here and we'll go through all the ports We're gonna go through performance in the next video again. So stay tuned for that video I'm Just showing you right now what I got so you get in the back there you have all the different ports all of them work, all of them been tested. One key thing too to note is when you're buying a used, all right, this, hear me out for a second. If you're buying a used iMac and you buy it from just like somebody that's selling it from their house, they're probably trying to hide everything that's bad about it, right? But when you buy it from somebody that actually buys it from them first, refurbishes it, usually they try to fix any of those things or you know they're not hiding as much because they have a reputation of selling a whole bunch of these things versus just one of them that's just kind of a note so I always try to find an intermediate company that maybe refurbishes these and you can go back to if there's an issue because they have a little bit more on you know at stake if there's an issue or if they get caught hiding something I'm not saying it won't happen but it's just kind of a thing I've learned when you're buying used equipment all right so that's the back of it now the front of it if you look at it it's beautiful too except there's a little scratch Right in the front here, um, you can barely, you know, you can see it, it's on the bottom of the bezel basically. And you can't see it on the screen at all. I mean, when the screen's off, you can see just a touch, maybe a half of an inch of a scratch there. You can feel it in there as well, so it's kind of a gouge. But I mean, I can't even notice it really to tell you the truth that I'm looking at it. And then the other corner, there's like a little chip of the glass. Um, it's not on the front actually, it's like, it's kind of in the side. I don't even know how to explain it. I'll show it to you. I don't know if you guys can even see it here, but it's so small, you don't notice it, number one. It doesn't affect, it's not even on the screen. It's only on the bezel. That's number two. And that's why they gave this a grade C, because that teeny little chip there and that little scratch. And that's what you want to find. You want to find something that's grade C because of that, not because it doesn't work, because grade C's always work. They've tested everything. So everything works perfectly. And you don't want, you, don't, you know, well, scratch is one thing. You just don't want bleeding or other types of things on the screen. So if you look at this MacBook, I mean, it's, it's, it's in beautiful shape. I mean, the screen, I'm going to share my screen here as well. I mean, there's, there's, it's a very bright screen. It's just 1080p, obviously. Um, back then, I didn't make these in 4K. Don't think yet for the 2013. I could be wrong, but this is a 1080p, 21.5 inch. And you can see here, I mean, just things, you know, bringing up browsers, and I'll get into this in the next video. I'm gonna show you the SSD speeds. I'm gonna show you how snappy things are, how fast it is to edit videos on a nine-year-old system. So get, get ready for that video. But here I'm just showing you 
the colors and, and everything opens very quickly. Um, I mean, I get these are opened already, but I mean, you can see the, the, the visual colors of this screen. It's probably worth more than any screen you could get right now for 148 bucks and it doesn't include the computer. Keep that in mind. Um, so everything's very snappy on this system and I think I showed everyone, but if I go to about this Mac, if you look at my screen here, here's the specs again, 2.7 inch quad core. So it is a quad core i5. It's got the 8 gigs of RAM, 1600 megahertz DDR3, and uh, it's got an Iris Pro, 50, uh, you know, basically 1.5 megabytes of, of, of space there. You can see the Intel for the graphics card, which isn't great, but it benchmarks, you know, again, I'll get into that next video, but it's not that bad either. Um, and uh, in the storage, again, if you look at the storage, it had, after everything is said and done, it's got 225.72 out of 249.85. So came with a lot of good storage, all SSD storage, and that's the key when you're buying a used system like this. Always get the SSD or you have to boot off an external, otherwise it's gonna be dirt slow. All right, so beyond that though, what were some of the caveats with this? Well, it didn't come with a keyboard or a mouse. I'm just kind of using some kind of stuff that I had here, so you gotta add that to the cost. Everyone should usually have those though, hopefully. And then number two, um, it did take some finagling. So, so basically, I got this up to Catalina. Um, what I did is I think it shipped with, um, geez, I can't even remember what it shipped with, uh, Big Sur maybe or something. Anyways, what I did is I moved it to Mojave, um, but I had to find Mojave out there. It wasn't that easy. You, got, you have to basically go online, find it, download the DMK, up, you know, basically install that first, and then it allowed me to go from Mojave to Catalina. Didn't let me go directly from that lower one all the way to Catalina, so you had to have enough, know enough to do that. Otherwise, you're gonna be on an old OS. And then also there's the situation of you have to be able to, the apps, if I go into the apps here, if I, let me just show you really quickly. All the apps were there except it was missing all the key apps like iMovie, Pages, Numbers. So I had to go into the app store and if you go in there and then you go under your profile, there's a way to bring back some of the apps because the apps have to be downloaded. Usually they're not available in the store that are supported by the older versions of the OS. So there's a way to get them in there, but you can look all that stuff up online. This is not what that video is about. So you gotta know a little bit about this. But once you know, once you know enough to do all that, I have a basic system here that's running, and I'll show you the performance in the next video, running Catalina that's super fast. Um, you know, it's gonna be very snappy as far as I'll show you. And, uh, you know, again, it's a 2013, but you would never know it by just looking at it or by the screen vibrancy or by the scratches on it or even by the performance, really. So it's a pretty good system overall. So anyways, if you look at the screen again, I'm gonna share my screen. It's just, the one thing that gets me right off the bat is the colors and the vibrancy of this system. Again, for doing email and doing, you know, almost all basic tasks, you know, just web browsing and stuff like that, this thing's perfect. And it almost looks like, you know, it almost looks like a 5K screen, even though it's a 1080p screen. It's that good and it's from nine years ago. So. Overall, a good system, and, and I'm gonna get into specs. I'm gonna do a, a whole video on how this thing performs. I'm gonna do some video editing, just show people exactly what it's all about. So definitely subscribe to the channel if you like these kind of videos. We're gonna do a series of videos with this thing. I'm gonna show people what is the, you know, what happens, like how are the speakers, you know, what is all the whole process behind everything. If this thing, you know, if you buy one of these old systems, do you have to know enough to get it, like I said, updated? Do you have to know enough to make sure your security is updated? Yes, and, and we'll get into that stuff next time. But really, this is what you get. I mean, 149 bucks, you're not taking a huge chance. You gotta just get the keyboard and the mouse. You get all these different features. You get very few scratches. It looks like it's almost, you know, almost new. It's not the new model, obviously. It's not the 24 inch iMac or anything like that, but it's still an elegant system for 148 bucks. So if you're interested in this kind of stuff, subscribe to my channel. We're gonna be doing a lot of these type of videos. I'm gonna be buying a whole bunch of older equipment, just showing you guys what it's all about, how it performs, you know, can you get away with using it? And we're gonna see how low we can go and we're gonna sometimes go a little higher. But at the end of the day, we're gonna see, is it worth your time and effort to kind of buy these older systems and fool with them or give them to family and stuff? If they need something just to fool around with or kids, this is maybe perfect for kids and stuff. We'll talk about it. Subscribe to the channel. We'll talk to you soon. Peace.